Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on simplifying algebraic fractions where factorization of one of the numerator and denominator is required. Now remember how we simplify fractions. If we had, for example, 6 over 9, then we see what could we divide top and bottom both by. Well, we could divide top and bottom both by 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3. That's how we simplify fractions. Now, there's stuff we would like to divide top and bottom by, but in order to have stuff we can divide by, we need to factorise the top and bottom first. So let's deal with this first fraction. And if you've forgotten how to factorise these things, then do look at my videos on factorising quadratics. Now, do you remember, when we have x squared plus something x plus something, we need to find two numbers which add to give the middle number, the 3, and times to give that last number of 2, the constant term. Now, what numbers add to give 3 and times to give 2? Well, the 2 and 1. And do you remember that we can therefore factorise this quadratic as x plus 2 and x plus 1 using those two numbers? And if you don't know how to do that, please look at my video on quadratic factorisation first. Now, the bottom, there's nothing to factorise, it's just x plus 1. But can you see that because we've now factorised the numerator, there is something we can divide by. Look, this is x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. And can we see that we've got a common factor of x plus 1 at the top and the bottom? So we could divide the top by x plus 1, just get rid of it. And we could divide the bottom by x plus 1. Well, x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is just 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. And now we've just got x plus 2 over 1, which is just basically x plus 2, because anything divided by 1 is itself. What about the second one? Well, we factorise again. Now, can you see this numerator here is the difference of two squares? The difference of two squares is when you have a difference, a subtraction of two squared expressions or squared numbers. And the way we do that, the way we factorise it, is to have two brackets, one with plus, one with minus, we explore this in another video, and we do the square root of each thing. The square root of 4x squared is 2x, because 2x times 2x is 4x squared, and the square root of 9 is 3, so that's the factorisation, and then 2x plus 3, we can't factorise that. And we have a similar situation before. We've got a common factor of 2x plus 3 at the top and the bottom, so we can just cross those out to cancel them, and we're left with 2x minus 3, basically over 1, but we don't care about the over 1, so it's just 2x minus 3. And what about the last one? And we can sort of think about the psychology of the person writing the question. If we know that this is going to simplify, it must be there's a common factor top and bottom. So we've got 3x plus 1 at the bottom, there is probably going to be a factor of 3x plus 1 at the top. And we can use that as a sort of like a sort of cheaty hint, basically. So if you've got the 3x plus 1 at the bottom, we think there's going to be one bracket of 3x plus 1 at the top. Now let's see if that's right. So in this expansion, if this expands to give that, 3x times what is going to give the 6x squared? Well, it's going to be 2x, so that's going to give you 6x squared. And then also, to get the plus 3, that must be this number times this number, the expansion. 1 times what is 3, which well, is plus 3. And then we can check whether this is right. So we also need the x terms. Well, we're going to have 2x times 1, which is 2x, and 3 times 3x, which is 9x. 2x plus a 9x is 11x. That works. So this is basically a, a clever, quick way of factorising the expression if we know what one of the factors is going to be. And this saves us the kind of long method of factorising these quadratics where we have a number in front of the x squared. Now again, look, 3x plus 1, common top and bottom, and we're just left with 2x plus 3, which is the final answer.